You might be watching this video because your public speaking teacher, that might even be me, counted off for your nonverbal expressions. A big part of nonverbals is facial expressions. Quite simply, what you do with your face while you're speaking helps you to better communicate your message. A secret to using facial expressions to your advantage is to practice the three C's of nonverbal communication. The three C's of nonverbal communication, context, clusters, and congruence. Now what in the world does that mean? Do you look like you care about this speech? Remember, facial expressions are greatly magnified in a video speech because your face takes up such a large portion of the visual range. Try to match your facial expressions with the context of your speech. That is, they should be appropriate for your audience and your topic. What might work for your YouTube vlog might not be the most effective facial expressions in reaching professional colleagues. Your facial expressions should also match your topic or you can seriously damage your credibility. The next C is clusters, or more simply, do you speak in a conversational style that's authentic to you? I suggest having a conversation with a close friend or family member and recording it. Don't worry, you can delete it after, but watch it. And when you watch it, look for your natural facial expressions and compare them to the expressions you used in your last speech. Work to make sure that you as a public speaker is a lot more like the authentic you. The final C of nonverbal communication is congruence. Is there a connection between your words and your nonverbals? When I was a news producer and my anchors were on set, I would often come on on the little IFB in their ear to remind them they were reading a story about a car crash, not a story about puppies. Sometimes we forget how much facial expressions can set the tone. Or as Don Henley said in his 1982 song, Dirty Laundry, about the news industry, we got the bubble-headed bleach blonde who comes on at five. She can tell you about the plane crash with a gleam in her eye. That's what you want to avoid with congruence. Don't look shady. Don't look incongruent. Make your verbals and your nonverbals match. To be congruent and have credibility with your audience, you need to make sure that your facial expressions are congruent with your tone and the message that you're delivering.